So if you're wondering what are the subjects and the topics that you will discuss on your first and second year on BS Biology, now you got to the good channel. <laughs> so you went to the right channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another vlog. So today I will be sharing to you the subjects and the topics that you will be discussing on your first and second year in BS Biology. So disclaimer po, I will be discussing the way that we took it at the West Messiah State University. It is not necessarily the same as our uh, order, pero it the subjects are technically somehow the same. Yung coverage niya po is pwedeng mag-iba, depende po sa curriculum po ng school ninyo. So let's start. So sa first year nyo po, ang kukunin nyo po ay dalawang major subject that is botany and analytical chemistry. Dati po, noong wala pa pong K-12, ang kinukuha po nila sa first, first semester is ang general biology and general chemistry. And general physics, I think, hindi na ko sure. Pero since nga nakuha na po namin yung mga subject na yon noong K-12 po as a STEM student or maybe as a gas student, so, hindi na po yung ini-include sa inyong curriculum. So, diretsyo na po tayo sa botany and analytical chemistry. So, sa botany po, discuss po ang parts of the plants, functions po ng mga parts of the plants, mga specialized parts of the plants, and different topics about that. Also, in botany, we also discuss the uh, the basics of plant study, that is, mga parts, mga types po ng mga cells sa plants, ano po yung mga common parts ng plants, yung mga specialized function po ng mga parts na yun. It's technically studying plants in a deeper depth. In a deeper depth. <laughs> studying plants in depth. Opo, ganon. So actually, botany is a prerequisite for plant physiology which will tackle about the different chemicals and biological processes in the plant. Going on, on analytical, analytical, analytical chemistry, on the other hand, Analytical chemistry is all about solving calculations, mga timplado po, or mga timpla po sa ano po sa analytical chemistry. Mga content po na mga bagay-bagay. So, analytical chemistry will also cover a part of the general chemistry but in depth then. Experiments like chromatography, weighing, uh, different ways of filtrations, separations. Sa kalimutan na po yung term pero parang ganun pa apa. So, that's it for the first semester of your first year. On the second sem of your first year, you will take three major subjects that is plant physiology, zoology, and organic chemistry. Plant physiology po, ang mga topic po doon is yung mga functions na po ng plant. For example, the respiration, the photosynthesis, the uh, fermentations. Doon po yung tatakal ang mga topic na yun. So, it tackles the curve cycle, mga electron transport chain, yung mga ganun po. And then, it also covers the hormones of the plants, how the plant communicates to each part of the plant so that everything is in sync. Next po is zoology. So, zoology is the study of animals. So, zoology po, tinakal po namin ang lahat po ng mga phylum sa animal kingdom. But before that, we tackled first the prokaryote. Prokaryotes? I know, no, no. We tackled first the... Ang tawag doon? So before po ng ano, before po ng mga animals, we tackled first the protists po. Yun po yung mga has animal-like features and plant-like features. Uh, so technically, we tackled it by the evolution of the animals. So we started with the ones that are not complicated to the ones that are more complicated. So we started with the protists, di ba? So then after that, ano pa yung mga first animals? Like yung mga sponges, yung kuwanosites. Basta yun po, apo, yun. So, how the animals evolve. So, technically, it's just studying about all the plant file, ay, the animal file looms po, apo. And then, in organic chemistry, we tackled about the dif the naming. Uh, mostly po siya is naming and the structures and the theories on how to view the different organic matters, apo. So for me, it's the most enjoyable part of chemistry kasi po mag-name ka lang compared po sa, ano, sa analytical chemistry na ang daming isosolve po, apo. Tapos po, sa organic chemistry, we also cover the structures, yung mga Lewis structure, yung mga... <laughs> yung mga orientations po. I can't remember, I, I can remember the concepts, pero hindi ko po ma-remember yung term. So as I said in my systematics video, I can always remember the, the itsura po, yung sa libro po na nakalagay ng mga pictures. Pero hindi ko po ma-remember exactly yung terms. So that's the hard part po, ano eh, yung hindi ko po masyadong matandaan. Pero, I know it's in my mind, I just can't find the right terms. 
So going back, so that ends our first year po. During our second year, so the first year of the second sem, the second year of the first sem, the first sem of the second year, ganon, we had the hardest. The hardest. The hardest. The hardest time of our lives because we had to tackle four major subjects po in preparation for our tracking. So those four are systematics, animal physiology, general microbiology, and biochemistry. Biochemistry, I think, is the last chemistry for biology students. And I think that it is one of the most crucial because sabi po ng mga seniors namin na nag-aaral na po sa med, biochemistry is important in medicine. So technically, in biochemistry, we tackle the four ano, <laughs> macromolecules. <laughs> the four macromolecules in the body. Ang mga carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and nakoy acid. <laughs> so biochemistry for me is a fun too. A fun too. So we, in the laboratory, is the, sa, pina, sa mga laboratories po na pagdaanan ko po, biochemistry is my favorite lab. Super. Although, palagi po akong late. <laughs> Sorry, ma. Because, because you know, naman, I had to adjust. Kasi nga nag-counsel ako no second year. Pero that's not an excuse. It's my mistake. Oh. Oh. Do manage your time. So, going back. So, doon po yung biochemistry. So, next one is systematics. As I have said to you, systematics is the, ano, basically the, basically the D-I-N-C. Defining, 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 uh, defining, Naming, classifying, uh, ganon po na mga species po yun po. So if you don't know much about that, I will put a link on that video. I made a video on systematics po. So technically, yung video po na yon ay lahat po systematics po. Kasi po systematics is one of the hardest, but somehow fun na subject po sa bio. Going on, animal physiology. So animal physiology, just like plant physiology about all the functions of the animals. Yung mga physiological functions. Pero more than that, we also talked about the hormones, how they work, how the cells communicate in general. Yung mga ganun. Animal physiology in terms of the lecture po is... Okay lang. <laughs> Pero ang fun part po ng animal physiology is yung lab part. So technically, inahalata nyo na po na ang favorite ko po na part sa as a BS Bio student is the lab po. Opo, I don't love the lecture. I like the lecture, but I don't love it. On the other hand, I really love the laboratory parts. So yan, yun po yung animal physiology apa. So the last uh, major subject that we took on second year, first semester is general microbiology. So in West Visayas State University, BS Biology has three tracks po: medical biology, microbiology, and biotechnology. Pero I think that dagdagan po siya ng pre dentistry. I don't know, pero we heard that they are planning to do that. But for now, for our batch, there are three. So general microbiology is somehow an exposure to the microbiology world. In case na yun po yung kukunin mong track. So sa so general microbiology, we did the basics po, the uh, recounting po ng mga topics po sa microbiology, like how can you consider an object, an object, an organism, a bacteria, a virus, a fungi, yung mga ganon. Tapos on the other hand, we also talk about the gram positives, the gram negatives. We did also social work where we had to survey places with high uh, mga cases po na mga um, amoeba or mga parasites o po yun po. So there are places actually na nakuhan po namin na ang dami pong parasite pala doon. So technically that's general microbiology. It's also one of the most fun laboratories. I love laboratories. Super. So that's it for the second year first semester. So now I will go to the second year second semester. So actually po ang pinaka nakaka ano po mind blowing po is kung kailan po naging chill lang kaunti yung mga subject po namin. Dun pa po nagkaroon ng quarantine. Unfortunately, we were only able to tackle until midterms, but I think that we have somehow okay knowledge about the subjects that we took, which is ecology and developmental biology. 
So ecology is about the ecosystem, the interactions of the organisms in an ecosystem, both abiotic and biotic factors. So actually, ecology is one of the one of the subjects that made me realize kung gaano po ka importante yung mga things and the mga chemicals po, yung mga factors po na nakaka affect sa nature. Like for example po, cutting of trees, yung mga chemicals po na kumakalat po sa dagat na that can kill fishes. As a biology student po, I've really developed that thinking na I have to protect the organisms. Aww. I have to protect nature. Kasi nga, di ba, yun yung pinag-aaralan ko eh. Yun pala yung ganda ng nature. <laughs> diversity. Uh -oh, ano naman po pinag -aano po? <laughs> It's true po na we have to take care of our environment and we have to raise environmental awareness. Because Aww. kung wala na po yung mga organisms na yan, there are other organisms that will be affected. Po, oh, po. And then, hmm. <laughs> so, pinatakap ko po ako ng mama ko. Sandali lang po, oh, po. <laughs> So, technically, that's it for ecology. Now we go to developmental biology. So, in developmental biology, we tackled about how an organism develops and matures and dies. So, sa developmental biology po, yun po yung kailangan nyo. Yun po yung time na kailangan nyo po ng sperm po sa experiments niyo. Aba. Also tackled about yung mga theories po in fertilization, how an embryo develops, how the different hormones of the body will ano, produce the egg cell, yung menstrual cycle po. Aba. Yung mga luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, yung mga ganun. Yun. So sadly nga po, nakat po yung aming second semester po dahil sa coronavirus. But I am hoping that everyone stays safe. I am looking forward now that I am going to be taking my tracking na I I excel in it and I try to study harder. <laughs> Mukhang pahirap ng pahirap po ito po. Apa. Pero lalabag po tayo para sa mga pangarap po. Apa. PBB. <laughs> so yun. So that's it for today. And if you haven't liked and subscribed my, to my channel, please do click that button below po. Apa. So we're gonna... We're, ano, we're doing it. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.